Hey Pin Testers, this is Braden from Pin Tester, and today we're going to try a decorative, decorative option. We're going to take wine bottles, write on them with hot glue, let it dry, and then paint it, and see what happens. As always, we're going to rate it on cost, the time it took, and the ease. So without much further ado, let's get started. All right. Now the example that we used as our uh, inspiration for this had live, laugh, love, play, happy, you know, things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one just like the example and then I'm going to improvise a little bit. Now this is hot glue so you have to be extremely careful. Do not want to burn yourself. and write whatever it is that you want on your decorative bottle in the glue. And I am just doing very simple love, just like I saw in the demonstration, to truly test this pen to see if it really works like they say it was. I've written love on this bottle and I'm gonna let that dry. And meanwhile, while I'm letting that dry, I'm gonna have some more fun with these. So, let's see what I can come up with. Now one thing that I'm noticing is that it's very difficult to keep the excess glue from making little squigglies over the entire thing. So keep that in the little, in the notes. And let's get creative with this last one. All right, and so we're gonna let those dry. Let me show you what I got here. I've got joy on one play on another, love on one, and my anniversary on another. So, let's see how they turn out. Okay, so now that they've all dried, I have to go in and clean it up a little bit because the glue left little squigglies which will show up when we paint over this glue and make it look very not nice, make it very um, unclean, look like a little kindergartner did it, and we don't want that. The only way you'll be able to tell I did it here was because my handwriting is that of a kindergartner, but we're moving past that because this is about testing the concept, not about making it the prettiest thing in the world because I don't have the pretty thing down. I got the handy thing down, but not the pretty thing. And so while I'm scratching all this stuff off, just making sure it's a nice clean lettering and just do the same thing on all of them. I'll leave the little tail on the L right there. And just making sure that it's very clean to make it a clean finished product. And it comes off very easy. It's not a difficult clean or a different a difficult glue to clean up once it's dry. Now if you did this when it was hot and melted it would hurt significantly. Okay guys, so I've got my paint right here. This is not your standard paint. This is paint I have laying around to do pen tests. And I'm just gonna use it because it doesn't really matter. And this is an example and a test, not really a sh final showpiece. So now these, this is all the same color paint. So there's gonna be a bunch of bottles all in the same color, which obviously in our pen test, uh, this is just for keeping the control across the board. But if you want to do this yourselves, you can use any color paint you want. I don't see a problem with any other paint. So now, the reason I have a big bucket here is just because that's what I had laying around. And I'm just going to dip the bucket, or the, excuse me, the wine bottle straight in the paint. All right, so now I'm already seeing a bit of an issue with the pen test because in the actual pen it doesn't say anything about having to dip it more than once 
or say anything about possibly you know paint being too thin in certain places. So we're gonna need to dip it twice, maybe even three times to get the finished product. And I will keep you guys updated on that. As soon as this dries, I'll, I'll dip it again so we won't be able to see any green, brown, or anything coming through. But that is the first drawback in this pin test. So we'll see what happens when we do some more. As you can see guys, that pin works. Now there is one change I would uh, recommend from the previous parts of these videos. Spray paint all the way. I tried dipping it in the paint uh, that you saw me do it. Doesn't work. The paint runs, uh, leaves drips. Doesn't work at all. I know that uh, the original Pinterest pen stated that you need to use spray paint. Well, I want to try a little something different. Turns out there's a reason <laughs> that it's stated spray paint. But as you can see, spray paint works very well. The glue stayed in place. Everything worked very well. Overall, for ease of use, I give this five pins. Uh, for cost, I mean the wine bottles, very cheap, under five bucks probably. I had uh, I had extra wine bottles uh, laying around, which most people do. And so that's five that's five pins for cost. And as far as time, I mean there was that this took me maybe five to ten minutes. So it gets a five on five pins on time as well. So that's a combined score of fifteen pins from this pin tester. And. Uh, that's it, pen tested.